Thursday, senators passed a bill that aims to improve mental health care in rural communities. It's one of several bills with the goal of making sure Texans have access to care. Capitol correspondent Monica Madden looks deeper into the proposals. Any time that we invest in, in the mental health care of our population, we're making an investment for our future. Everyone agrees there's a need to improve mental health care access, especially in rural Texas communities. Dr. Steve Bain leads the Institute for Rural Mental Health Initiatives at Texas A&M in Kingsville. But it's not that rural people have more issues as much as it is rural people have less resources uh, at their disposal. It's why lawmakers are proposing investing three and a half billion new dollars into the system. That will go toward fixing and building new facilities and adding more beds. It takes years sometimes to build a hospital, and this is step a big step too, but this should be ongoing because our population continues to grow. This is 2014. Dr. Bain's research points to another problem, getting enough mental health care workers. All the counties in Texas uh, are considered mental health health provider shortage areas. I asked the bill's author about this. And are there other things that the legislature is also working on to address just the reasons behind those shortages? There's a, a pay raise uh, for our state supported living centers and the workers at our state hospitals and it's 39.73 percent. Additionally, she points to another bill the Senate passed that will create a loan repayment and grant program for nurses. A perfect plan, maybe not yet, but I can tell you it's a plan and it's a way forward. Monica Madden, State of Texas. A showdown at the Capitol over tax cuts. Well, we can negotiate on just about everything, but I do not negotiate on bad math. House members pass a plan for property tax relief. Why the lieutenant governor says the Senate will shut it down. A plan at the Capitol aims to cut the cost of prescription drugs by importing them from Canada. Texas tried this before and got blocked in court. We look at what's different this time. 